Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Cortec. My name's Chelsea, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than our normal video. We're gonna be working with resin, and not just resin printing, but also a resin cast diorama kind of thing. Spoiler alert, did not turn out how I wanted, but let's kind of go through what I did and what I would change for next time. I went ahead and got into ZBrush and I designed some easy anemone plants and seaweed things and all that sort of good stuff to go with the baby dory model. And I printed the mountain resin on the Elegoo Saturn. I sanded all the little bits off and went ahead and started applying primer to them so that I could paint them in all of their fun oceany colors. After they were primed, I decided I needed to go ahead and make the resin casting box. Looking back, I definitely would not have made it that big because it used so much resin. But anyway, you can see here, I'm kind of trying to lay out what I want it to look like on the inside. And then from that, I went ahead and measured how big I was gonna make it. So I've seen people use this foam board for resin projects like this, and I thought it would be completely fine. Another spoiler alert, definitely will not be doing that again. I was using just regular waxed foam board. I went ahead, cut all the sides, hot glued it together, and sealed up all the outside creases with hot glue as well. After I got the box mold all put together, it was time to start painting all the little pieces. So initially I went ahead and just did an airbrush coat of the main color for most of these pieces. Usually for pieces like the seashells that will easily fly around, it's probably better to tack them down to something before you're trying to airbrush them, otherwise they just walk away from you. Right here you can see that I am going ahead and taking a dry brush with a little bit of white paint and just lightly brushing the ends of the seashells to kind of give them that ombre like seashell look. And then I went ahead and did the same thing with some of the seaweed pieces, giving them a little glisten of yellow just to kind of give a little bit of dimension. Most of my projects lately, I've been using the Vallejo model paint, which are a really good consistency for most things. Some things you do want to water them down a little bit, but honestly, just using them on a wet palette is even um, good enough to give them a really, really good consistency, which you can see I am not using a wet palette here because I was too lazy to get it out and get it ready.
So after all my pieces were painted, it was time to start mixing some resin. And my initial thought for the bottom was that I wanted sand, obviously. And so I went ahead and mixed some resin, um, made it extremely too yellow to start with, and then added some purple to tone it out. And then I added just regular sand you can get from like your local hobby store or whatever, because that's just what I had. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing with this, but I feel like I was pretty happy with the sand layer overall. And once that was poured in there, I went ahead and started adding the painted resin pieces. Looking back again, I know that I should have taken the time to clear coat them after I had fully painted them. And I knew that I should have done that and I just didn't. I was in a hurry and that was a bad decision. So if you're going to be doing this, I highly suggest clear coating all of your pieces before you start adding resin around them. So I mixed more resin, very, 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 very tiny bit of blue dye into that, poured it in, and I went ahead with a heat gun because I had heard that using a little bit of a heat gun will help the bubbles go away, like come to the top and pop. I feel like that was a bad decision because as you'll see, pouring too much resin at once will make it heat up. And then I used a heat gun on top of that, which there we go, ended up melting like the sides, made it bubble. It was just a bad situation all around. But I thought, oh well, I am this far in. Let's just go ahead and keep filling it with resin. There were times I would mix double batches and have quite a bit that was curing at once. And then I realized that it was creating a lot of heat. So I stopped doing such big batches of the resin. So then I went ahead and let it set for a couple days, and as you can see here, I am attempting to get this foam board off of the resin, and it did not work. There is so much foam stuck to it. The entire wax coating around the foam board is stuck to it. The best I could do was to wet that down and try to start scraping all of that stuff off, and it was a huge pain in the butt and a giant waste of time. After I got what I could off, I took a utility knife and I started evening out all the edges. Once I was done cleaning off all the edges, I went ahead and went in with some sandpaper. I started with a very rough grit and then worked my way up to a really, really super fine grit in the thousands and did what I could to try to even it out. Now, if you look in from the top of this project, I think it looks pretty freaking cool. But if you look in from the sides, you can see where I ran out of one type of resin and switched to another. There's layers there that you can tell a difference. Um, for some reason, even though I tried to add the exact same amount of color to every single layer that I did, it just still did not look the same. There was a lot of bubbles in that first layer, which I'm thinking actually was probably from the sand and maybe not having that resin at the bottom with the sand cured fully. Overall, I think for my first time doing this, it was decent, but there is so many things that I would do differently. So if you have any suggestions, uh, leave those in the comments. I will look through those. Otherwise, I'm excited to try this again, maybe a little bit on a uh, smaller scale and not waste so much resin, but um, I think that we could go places with this. So this was my attempt at a baby Dory scene in resin. All right, well, that was our first attempt at a resin di diorama. Try not to say the wrong word there and um, that was Dory and just a little scene that Chelsea put together and I think it came out really cool. I know she wasn't super happy with how it came out but I think it looks 
great and I can definitely see the potential for um, doing things in the future. So um, we're definitely going to be doing this again and trying to iterate and get this process nailed down. Um, I know we want to try and do some Pokemon ones because I've wanted to do that for a really long time. Um, and we just want to try and make some really cool things. So if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see done like this, um, leave them down in the comments because we we are definitely open to suggestion here. All right, well, if you are interested in any of our models um, or any of our future models that we'll be doing this type of thing with, um, check the description. We have our Patreon down there. The support over there allows us to keep this channel running, so it's much appreciated. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep creating.